want you all to look at this embarrassing question. Hey doctors, about five months ago I got an ear infection and I went to the doctors, they told me it was swimmer's ear. They gave me drops and the infection went away. And about a month ago, I started getting an itchy ear and every time I cleaned it, I got this watery wax that smelled like a wet rag. So I wanna know why this is a problem and what I can do to fix it. And that was Romina, who just so happens to be here with us today. Romina, you want to come up here and join us? Hi, Romina. <laughs> Welcome. How you doing? Good. All right, Jim. We're going to put you right okay, in right between here. us. Okay. That means I get one ear and, and Dr. Seals mm -hmm. gets the other. <laughs> okay. Well, based on what I, I know so far, I think that Romina has, I just happened to bring my big ear today. <laughs> that Romina has otitis externa or an external ear infection. And then what that means is that the auditory canal, this part of your ear, from the middle ear to the, to the hole in your, the outer part of your ear, gets very red, swollen, inflamed. You may have, you may have drainage of pus and fluid coming out there. Very painful. One of the signs you pull on the ear it hurts it. Mm -hmm. and, and let's functionally yeah. show what's going on yeah, here, Dr. Pret let's pretend this is your ear here, your ear canal, your outer ear canal. And normally, you're, it's nice and open. Water may flow in, but then you get out of the pool or the shower and it flows back out and dries out. No big deal. In and out. All right? But what if you maybe have a, some wax blockage or something and it can't flow out? So that water's stuck in there. So that skin is always wet. It kind of gets macerated, soft irritated, and then bacteria or fungus can come in and infect it. Then it multiplies. Multiplies. And multiplies. And multiplies because I mean, it's those, just stuck in there. Anytime fluid is exactly. stuck in the air like that, and, gets infected, And irritated. those microorganisms just love that in there. It's, it's dark. It's moist. Uh, perfect gross. breeding ground. So based on that, do we want to know what, what Romina has in her ear? Yes. Do you want to know what's yeah, in your definitely. ear? All right. Well, I just happen Let's to have my take a look. otoscope, and guess what? With with the, uh, the with modern technology, everybody gets to see what we get to see. <clears throat> How embarrassing! There we go. Well, number one, okay. we're seeing that you've got some wax embedded there, and you do have and you, know. you do have some debris in there as well. And we see get, that the, the outer part is pretty clean, but all that wax has been pushed in there. See that? Yeah. Want to get that a little sharper? And does that hurt when he's going? A little there? bit. Yeah. It's very itchy. Mm -hmm. Well, you do have a touch of otitis externa. Okay. You can mm -hmm. tell by the debris there is a certain degree of inflammation, swelling there. So what's going to fix you up? Probably just putting you on some eardrops. Eardrops okay. that have a combination of steroids, anti-inflammatories, some antibiotics that's also soothing. That should fix you up. Yeah. Keep your ears dry. Oh, okay. You know, a great oh. way to keep them dry is after you use the pool or the shower. If you're prone to swimmer's ear, have a little solution of half vinegar and half rubbing alcohol. A couple of drops in there. The alcohol will dry out the water, and the vinegar will kind of restore the natural pH. Thank you, Romina. All right, thank you, guys.